Okay, so this is the most expensive telescope that we own right now, and this is the Vionis Vespera 2. We're gonna be taking it outside so we can see what it can do. Do you have anything to say? I'm just excited because we're gonna test it against all of the other telescopes that we have too. Yeah, this is officially our fifth telescope. We have a bunch of others that we're probably gonna make videos about too, but this is our most expensive, and it looks like an AirPod case. Okay, so this is the Vespera 2 from Vionis. For anybody that doesn't know, I'm gonna tell you everything that this website says that it can do. That way we can see if it's up to be tested. Okay, so it says there's a five minute setup. It says it has automatic pointing and tracking. It does automatic image enhancement and live stacking. So if you're into astrophotography, you know that image stacking takes a really long time. This telescope does it for you. It says there's smartphone and tablet control on an app. There's up to 24 megapixels of photos. There's live mosaic field the view, which is basically like a panoramic picture for space. You can do the sun, the moon, eclipses, planets. There's all kinds of objects in the app that you can point and target to as long as they're visible in your area. It has 50 millimeter aperture and 250 millimeter focal length, which I don't know much about that. <laughs> And then these are all the different image files that you can get from the telescope. It has TIFF, FITS, 16 bits, DARKS, whatever that means. So we're gonna test it out. How do you feel? I'm excited. Let's go bring them outside. And then also we wanna know from everyone, we have a bunch of telescopes. This is the Celestron Next Star. We also have this new one that just came in the mail that we haven't even tried yet. This is a smart telescope as well. And then of course, for this video, we're gonna be using the Vespera 2, but we also have another telescope from Bionis that's called the Hestia, which is right here. And then we have the Sea Star S50. So if you wanna see other videos, let us know because we will do it. Okay, so we're gonna take the telescope outside right now and try to grab as many photos as we can. We'll see exactly what it can do and if it's worth the money to be able to buy it too. Also, you guys will not want to miss all the photos that we get with this too. We're going to post them at the end of the video because I think it's going to capture some really cool shots. Okay, so for this smart telescope, it actually has an app. We have it pulled up on the iPad. It's going to, it's obviously dark outside, so it's going to be a little hard to see. Okay, so once you have the Wi-Fi to the Vespera telescope, all you have to do is click initialize on the app and then the telescope is going to open up. As you can see, the leg of the telescope is going to, or the arm, I guess. The telescope <laughs> is going to open up and it's going to point to the sky which you can't see anything through this camera but it's going to try to find the stars and automatically track where it's at so that it uh we can target it to wherever we want to look this is what the app looks like on the website it says that this thing only takes like five minutes but to tell you guys the truth it usually takes like 10 to 15 but uh we have a street light in the way so we're not in the best condition and usually has a lot of bad luck with finding stars but we're gonna see okay so we're still waiting on it to initialize it's been like two minutes also guys take a look at my new shoes tell me if you like them one through ten and then calvin are those the yeezys oh just flexing on them calvin's wearing his yeezys we're using this new camera this camera is called the um dji osmo pocket 3 we've seen it all over tiktok so we're testing it uh we're still getting used to it but how do you like it so far it's nice so easy to use and it's a good picture. We have the live view pulled up on my phone because I'm trying to figure out how it works. Oh, the telescope is still initializing. I think it literally looks like E from Wally or a massive AirPod case, but it's still initializing. So we gotta wait. Oh my God, it worked. Wait, we're ready. Okay, so now that it's initialized, you basically have access to the entire apps database of all the different galaxies and planets and clusters and solar system planets, all kinds of stuff. And you basically just pick what you wanna go to and then you click go and then it does it. So what we're gonna do really quick is since this is the only dark portion in the sky for us because of that street light, we're gonna look on the app to see what's in this general area and then that's where we're gonna click it to go and then we're gonna tell you guys how it looks and what the process is like. So this app is called Sky Safari and we're gonna use this to basically get a view of what's in the area, like I said, from this location in front of us. So we're gonna look at this and we're gonna try to see what's there. Okay, so I typed in Ring Nebula to the app. It's called M57, it says the visibility is good and it's in the constellation Lyra so we're gonna observe this all you have to do is click this button and then it's gonna automatically start which I'm gonna turn this light off so I make sure I don't like interfere with it so it's gonna get really dark here for a second but this is what we're gonna have to do okay we're gonna see if it works we're waiting it's still loading the one thing we really like about this telescope is all you have to do is literally just click what you want to go to on the app and then it just automatically does it so that's a plus for anybody that's not too smart with that stuff including me how long has it been so far? Like five minutes. Well, the video's been going for 12, so. I think the only thing 
that I still want to reiterate is it does not take five minutes for us. It always takes like 10 or 15, but can't really complain because the thing is epic and it does everything for you. So as long as it's not cloudy, it shouldn't take that long. Okay, so we spent like 15 minutes ish trying to find that. And for some reason it wouldn't work. So, oh, now it says ring. It says the visibility is poor now. So I guess we're going to try to find something else and try to get it to work. So give us just one minute. We're going to recheck the app on the phone and see what's visible in that general area like I said right in front of us. I think the dumbbell nebula is supposed to be visible as well so I'm gonna look this up on the app. It says it's good so we're gonna try this one. This is actually a nebula we've seen before but let's see if this one works. Oh my god it's starting look let's see what it looks like first initial image dumbbell nebula there it is you see it on the camera so like i said this is a target that we've actually seen before this is the dumbbell nebula we actually hung up a photo in our living room of a picture we got from it with this telescope what this is basically going to do this is the first initial image of what it's able to get and it's going to stack them up so right now it only has two photos but it's going to take a photo every single 10 seconds and now it's at three and you can basically just run it for however long you want and whenever you you have a good clear picture you can just stop the photo at any point and just save it to your phone and edit it if you want but this is what it pulled up after around 25 minutes of trying to get something so while you're on the app looking at your target it stacks the images like i showed you but you can actually look through these and see the progression as it goes it's on its seventh photo right now and this is what it looks like and the reason why it stacks images is because the image will get clearer over time as it gathers more information of what it's looking at and getting more light and just stacking them together to make like a final final good photo to work with. Okay, so we're gonna take the telescope inside, we're gonna get all of our equipment, go inside, and we're gonna review the final photos and show everybody what we were able to get. How are you feeling? Hungry. Calvin's hungry, he needs to be fed. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna make some steak fajitas and we are gonna show you the final photo. Okay, so we just got done bringing all of the equipment inside and I'm gonna show you guys what the photos look like. I'm gonna give you the unedited one, the one that came straight from the telescope. And then I'm also gonna show you the one that I did edit through Lightroom. Okay, so this is the unedited photo that came straight from the Vespera 2, just straight saved to my phone. I did not touch it. And then this is the edited photo, the one that I just brought out colors on and just made it a little bit more bright. And this is what they look like. Obviously the edits were simple. I just done it through Lightroom on my phone, so nothing too extreme. We really wanna know what you guys think about the photos though, if you can justify the price of the Vespera 2 versus like what it does. I think the Vespera is definitely the coolest telescope that we have out of the five, but we're gonna try the other ones later. That was it for this video. This is our first video on YouTube, so we're just gonna be testing things out. We're gonna try to get more comfortable with filming. This is also a new camera that we're trying to test as well, so there's a lot to learn. But anyways, make sure you like, <laughs> make sure you smash that subscribe button, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you share with 10 friends for good luck for the week let us know if you want to see literally anything else we also have a bunch of slime in the office if you want us to play with slime we could do all kinds of stuff i've never done youtube before thank you